So here's the solution to global warming and saving the world's fish. It's really simple solution. Uh, it's just a security camera for the fish. So let me explain. There's this documentary on Netflix. It's really interesting. It's called Sea Spiracy. They have an agenda, but it's really interesting. It's showing a lot of the problems that are around the world with fishing. And one of the problems is bycatch. And it's a huge problem. These fishing companies are out in the sea. Nobody is checking them. Nobody is able to check what they're doing. So what they should have on the boat is actually a security camera with AI that logs every shark, dolphin, turtle, or whale, or whatever illegal catch or bycatch you know like they catch they don't really do it on purpose but they, they, they could be more careful and they could uh, plan better how they fish so you have this uh, solar powered security camera with AI that can log these and it can even report in real time to the Starlink satellite network with a phased array antenna a cheaper one that could be developed does need to have a steady connection but that just can send a little bit of information once in a while out there in the sea that's possible it can be done for very cheap, $50, $100. We can make a security camera that can even work peer-to-peer -peer with several security cameras on one ship and then synchronize this information later. It's also possible to synchronize over Wi-Fi or over a 3, a 3G or some SIM card uh, that can synchronize when it gets back to the harbor. And then it's tamper-proof, hacking-proof, so if a lot of bycatch happened, it would be logged in the system. The, the fishing vessels will be much more careful. It might increase the price of fish a little bit, uh, it might, right? But it will save the whales, it will save the, the sharks and the dolphins and the turtles and whatever else is there that we are not supposed to be destroying. And uh, it might even also log any lost fishing nets, maybe, because the AI could potentially also notice if some fishing nets get discarded by mistake or, you know, doesn't come back. Uh, it has night vision. So this is not technology that's out of this world. It's easy. The Shenzhen companies are shipping millions of security cameras every day. They're doing high quality security cameras now. They do 4K. They have very detailed views and they even have AI. On the ARM chipsets, you can have AI built in that can identify whatever you wanted to learn. So you can just teach it to identify dolphins and sharks and, and turtles and, and whales and whatever else is needed to be identified. And you can also identify overfishing. If they fish too much, there will be a sensor on the thing. And if it's direct satellite backlink, it actually might be helpful to uh, alert the other fishing vessels in the area that maybe be careful, there's a bunch of sharks here. You, you prefer not to fish them. So it will actually help in real time, uh, uh, kind of like uh, uh, alert the other boats and might help them. So actually it could be useful if it has real time connection, but maybe the real time aspect is not required. So here's the idea. If a lot of people like my idea, you can support here and I guarantee I, I make it happen. We go to Shenzhen, we make it happen. The product is going to be available and we try to market it to the MSC label or to some organization that work with kind of like putting labels on fish in the supermarket. Or we can try to convince uh, some government, some little country like Denmark or something that they have to do it. And then if one of them start to think it's a good idea, maybe all of them will, will be forced into it kind of. And um, uh, this is a little bit the idea. And uh, if we, we are not able to get it done, everybody gets at least 80% refund, right? So if for some reason it's too complicated or the Shenzhen companies don't want to do it, we don't really have a price like a, a required pricing. So it might be a little bit more expensive than $100. Hopefully it can be done for less than $100. That's what I imagine. But maybe it'll be a little bit more because it's like industrial. It needs to be working in any, every weather. It needs to have a battery and solar charge. It needs to be uh, working even with a lot of rain and uh, w uh, humidity. It needs to work at night. Uh, it needs to uh, maybe also have this peer-to-peer -peer networking so you can have different angles of the security camera. Like uh, you have security cameras everywhere. You can have a different angles on the boat, uh, on this side of the boat, on the other side of the boat, on the side of the boat, and they could all network together. This is simple idea. I think it's simple. I think it's easy to solve. And I really think it's a technical solution to the, all this fishing problem that we have. So let's solve it. Why not? So let me just explain just a little bit why this solves global warming. Or maybe at least it solves a part of the global warming problem, which is the ocean. And the ocean problem, as far as I understand, in terms of the fishing, is that it, the, this bycatch and this uh, overfishing 
uh, and this uh, uh, the, the discarded nets is uh, destroying the coral reefs and is destroying a whole bunch of stuff that generates all the algae and the ecosystem is being uh, disrupted. Uh, when the big, big fish disappear, the small fish uh, thrive and it's not really supposed to be. They're supposed to be scared of the big fish. And if they're not, there's no more big fish, then there's too many small fish, okay? I know it's, uh, I'm not an expert. So it's really, it's all about the ecosystem. We can make an open source software solution, open source hardware solution for security cameras for every fishing boat in the world. And it can be an open platform, it's easy to verify platform. And every time there's a logged bycatch, it will be a photographic or video, video evidence. So people can always watch it again and say, ah, oh, that was not a dolphin. That was actually what I was supposed to fish. They can always argue it later. Uh, and and this, this will all be in the cloud and uh, developed very easily uh, by the software development company that we can work with on, to do this and the, the, the manufacturer in Shenzhen. So uh, if you want to support this, your name will be on the website forever. We can build a website of all the people that made this happen. And so uh, people will know forever and you can promote your company or your, your Twitter handle or your uh, um, uh, Facebook page, whatever you want to promote, uh, people will click on and see the people who supported this project and how much people contributed to make it happen. And we'll show, uh, if this gets successfully funded, we'll show updates, I'll post new videos, and I'll show day by day what we're doing to get it happen, to make it happen, to show how we get it done and who we partner with and how much it's gonna cost each of the devices at the end. We try to get the cost as low as possible because we need to make sure that every fishing vessel has these uh, installed. Either they have to pay it for the, themselves if they wanna have the label or somebody's gonna put them on these boats and ask them to, to, to use them. And there will be a way to really make sure that they, nobody cheats on the system. It'll be transparent. All right, thanks for watching.